Hello everybody, I am Panda Pops and today we're just going to do a really short video about the sandbox. For those of you that don't know, the sandbox is a play to earn metaverse so you can purchase lands and on those lands you can create your own games using their tools like the Game Maker, Vox Edit to be able to create your own NFT assets. Currently only pre-launch artists can um, have their assets approved. However, they have recently just opened it up for if you do game jams, which are sort of the game competitions, and you have a good game, a viable game, um, that you would like to make your own assets for, then you can actually apply to get the artist status to be able to have those your own uh, creations approved to go in. You will also be able to, in the future, if you own land and you don't have a game or you don't fancy ha um, making a game to go on it, you can rent out that land for someone else to place a game on there and earn that way. So what am I talking about in this video now that I've done a little talk on what the sandbox is? I will link down below the site for the sandbox so you can check it out yourself as well as their Discord. But anyway, in this video, I am going to be talking about the Sandbox Marketplace. So they have just launched their fr their first sale of, um, of NFTs, which are all from artists like myself and other people, where you can now use that sand, which is the game's crypto token, to be able to, to buy these NFTs. Okay, so when you go to the Sandbox, you will get this homepage right here. There's some game experiences that are ready to come out when all of this goes live. Currently, you can just go into the Game Maker and play a few experiences from there, but they're not fully integrated into the metaverse. We'll just have a little look at this Create. So if you go to Create, you can download the Game Maker completely free, as well as Vox Edit, which is the uh, voxel art editor. So you can create assets and whatnot. And all of those are NFTs. The map shows you, obviously, all the land. So this is the entire map. They are doing sales in waves now. This is uh, the public sales. They have finished all the pre-launch sales. Um, we've got like Atari over here. We've got Smurf Village. Sandbox has some giant ones there. Uh, we've got Pranks's one right there. Uh, we've got some Binance ones in the corners. Anyway, so the marketplace. So there's two parts of the marketplace. So anything that is actually officially for sale will come up at the top. Um, they've refurbished all of this. So you can actually, you've got different filters now. Um, you can like just filter for legendary assets and find all of those. Obviously some of these aren't aren't up for sale. However, you can click this little little button right here. If it's... If it's not up for sale, if it hasn't been minted, then you can click that and then you can use it in your game. However, when it becomes minted is uh, when you actually need to own the item for it to appear in your game. Let's say, for example, you want to make just one game experience. You would only need one of these and you could use it multiple times. So let's, you know, for example, let's say you you wanted these cars these cars in a game, you wanted like five or six of them, you would actually only need to purchase one for it to, uh, to and use it multiple times within the game. However, if you wanted to do two game experiences, then you would need to have two of them because they sort of get, they get wrapped into the game. So they all get wrapped together when you mint your game on into the metaverse. And then when you take it off, you unwrap it. So everything gets put into a bundle and it's all linked together. Anyway, on to the marketplace. So we got different prices right here. The cheapest are for seven uh, seven point three five sand, which is roughly five dollars, I think, at the current price of sand right now. Got some cool stuff here. Um, these are all commons right here. I'm going to plug my own. This is my pirate sea dog that I made. Um, so if you want to purchase him for like roughly five dollars. Feel free to, because he is an NFT right now that you can get. And there's still plenty of him. I know gas is a little expensive. 
we go down and they created a whole new category called art. The art category is incredibly limited in the numbers. There will only be between one to 10 of each of these items. This ship has 10, 10 versions. And because they are very limited in the amount that can be minted is why they have a more premium price. That's why they are quite a lot. They're, they're, they're a little, little above most people's um, pay grade, but there, there is only going to be these ones. A Venus D. Ah, this is amazing. Not going to lie. But this is the very first sale to come up for their marketplace. These are all the first lot to, to be here. See some of these. And I do have, I have one piece of art as well. Where are you? Here we go. The ice totem column. Art piece. Nice little markings on. Nice little description down here of it. So yes, they are NFTs uh, that you can use in your game. Create them as you will, or you can hold on to them and trade them in the future. I just wanted to do this little update. The, the sale went live yesterday. Um, can't remember the exact time, but it went live yesterday. A lot of stuff has already sold out. There was some that sold out within like 10 minutes. There, there was a few that sold out within 10 minutes or almost completely sold out within 10 minutes. But there was some gorgeous assets here. So definitely check out the marketplace. This she is super cute. Love the little backpack. So yeah, I just wanted to do an update on Sandbox, let you all know the sale is out. So go check it out, grab a few things if you'd like. Uh, Turtle, Turtle Duck is amazing, love that. And anything that is fully sold out then gets taken out of the for sale marketplace, uh, which is why you won't see zero out of whatever. I am very proud to be one of the 46 artists chosen to have their NFTs put in the first marketplace. It has been a wonderful experience and time doing this. Um, I still do Fox Edit and art assets for them. I stream for the Sandbox game, so I'll link their YouTube, Twitch, and whatever else down in the comments below. If you want to watch me create things, we create on Vox Edit where I show you how to use the tools. And um, you guys get to help choose some colors. If we're making like a mass big thing, then you even get to suggest ideas. So check out those over on the sandbox. And also, and that's every Monday at 6 p.m. GMT. And I also do my own streams, which gets restreamed both to here, uh, to YouTube, Twitch, and DLive. If you want to check out any of those channels, feel free. I will link all of those in the description. And that is for one hour at 8 p.m. GMT. Currently, I think we might be pushing it back just because of British summertime now being into effect. So it's getting quite a bit later for me to do that. But uh, so far, 8 p.m. GMT time. And the same happens again. I take your guys' ideas and we, we build assets together. So you can definitely check out my, my replays on that on YouTube. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.